Well, hi everybody, I'm Doc Miles, and I'm here again to talk about caring for your tripod. I get a lot of questions as how do you care for your tripod if you had it out on a rough day on the beach or in mud and, and uh, other dirt. And so I've gone down to the beach, put the tripod in the sand and in the water, and I've come back with some ideas on how to clean it. I hope you like this video. Let's say you're down on the beach and you want to record, uh, uh, take a photograph in the sand. The best thing you can do is put the lower legs, the lower sections of your tripod in the sand and keep the sand away from the joints up above. So even though those lower legs are a little bit less stable, they're going to be the easiest to clean and you're not going to get sand above that first joint or even near that first joint so that you have to clean it off. So one thing you need to make sure is that you've got the lowest section out. So make sure that the lower section is out and then you're good to go. So let's go down by the water. So make sure when you fold up your tripod, you keep that leg a distance from the joint. You don't want that, that first joint to get any sand in it at all. So when you're carrying it back to land. So I'm coming back and as I'm walking back, I see this grass. And so I'm going to take the tripod legs and just wipe them through the grass like that, and they're together. And most of that sand, or some of it anyway, will come off, but not all of it. But that's a good start. Just by rubbing it in the grass, we got most of that sand off. So I'll just keep doing that as I walk along. And I'm still going to keep these legs extended because there is some sand still on it. Okay, so now I'm back on solid ground, and I've got a bottle of water. You can just use regular tap water. And I'm going to squirt the, the legs off right around the foot, and I'll up and down that leg. Uh, go and get all that sand off. Now, these the foot. Now, the foot of these does unscrew, okay? And you don't want to unscrew it all the way because there's a, a compound in there that keeps it from falling out. But there is sand. So you can see that there's some sand right in here. So I'm going to take my water and squirt that. And I'm going to do this with each leg and just get the sand around that screw. But you don't want to unscrew this all the way because it's hollow and you'll get sand up into the tripod. So I'm just going to tighten that back up. Like that. Then I got a cloth. I'm going to dry off these legs, and I'm good to go now. I can screw them all back in. I still leave it out just a little bit if it's if it's wet until it's dry, just a just a little nub like that. So, so that's taking good care of your tripod, and you're not going to get any sand up in these joints. Even wipe off the bottom here. Okay, so that's it. So I recommend keeping your tripod in a case to keep dirt from getting down in the ball head or damaging the tripod head at all. So that's it. That's how to take care of your tripod when you're out in the field. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you. A tripod can last you a long time and be a very valuable piece of equipment if you take care of it. So if you like this video and other videos that I've done, please hit the subscribe button and uh, look for us on Instagram, Facebook, and remember, if you want to go for a tour in San Francisco or Yosemite, it's Doc Miles Photo Tours. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.